Good morning, Sparrows. How are you? The sun is shining. Leave the nest. Go fly in the day. It's a good day. Um, hey, today I want to talk to you about Jesus' cousin. Who loves cousins? I've got great cousins. And uh, Jesus' cousin was named John. And he's the one that baptized Jesus. He's the one that told everybody that Jesus is the Messiah. It is God come to earth to be with us. He told everybody about Jesus, and he was confident and bold and uh, letting people know who Jesus is. So he was very confident in his faith. But then John got arrested by King Herod, and he was put in a very dark, cold prison cell awaiting his execution. Um so everything in one minute flipped from all things going well, his ministry going well, he knows what he's all about, to all of a sudden his life falls apart and he's in a dark prison. And while he's in this dark prison, he sends for a couple of his friends. It says, John the baptizer was in prison, heard about all the things the Messiah was doing, Jesus was doing. It says, so... He sent his disciples. Disciples are learners. These are people that follow John and he was teaching. He sent them to ask Jesus, are you the Messiah we've been expecting? Or should we keep looking for someone else? Now, what a turn of events. This is John who believed this is Jesus. He's the one. He's what I'm telling you about. And then he's in prison and he's, he's saying, I don't know. Are you really the one? Should I be looking elsewhere? What happened to John? All of a sudden, he's doubting. And you know what? We can get in circumstances that are difficult. It can be medically, medical circumstances. It can be relationships that break. It can be people who we love that are dying. It can be just being depressed, discouraged about life. We get in these circumstances. And when we do, sometimes we end up like John. Jesus, are you, are you really there? Are you really real? Or should I be looking for something or someone else? We can arrive at those places where we lose faith, where we doubt about Jesus. I've been there. I know what that's like. And uh, Jesus gives these two disciples a message. He says this. Jesus told them, go back to John and tell him what you have heard and seen. The blind see, the lame walk, the lepers are cured, the deaf hear, the dead are raised to life, and the good news is being preached to the poor and tell him God blesses those who do not turn away because of me. So what was Jesus saying to John and his discouragement? He doesn't say something, you know, like, oh, don't be discouraged. He doesn't do that. He acknowledges that John is doubting, wondering. And we all go through times like that. But he says, you need to look at what I've done in the past. You need to look at the places you saw me at work in your life. Now, every one of us, when we're in that place of discouragement, can look back and go, oh, you know what? Jesus did this for me. Back two years ago when I was going through this, Jesus did this for me. Jesus did that for me. Jesus did so many different things for me. I've had that experience many times. I can look back and go, Wow, God has always been at work in my life. And a lot of those times he was at work in my life was when I was feeling what I was feeling now, discouraged, full of doubt, and God came through. So I want to encourage you today, Sparrows, that if you are in a place like that, or if you arrive to a place like that, look back. Start talking to someone. And this is a good thing to do. Tell them what Jesus has done for you. And you'll, you'll be surprised how that lifts you from the place of doubt and discouragement to realizing God is really with you.
Amen.